Evolutionists claim that the universe is over 13.82 billion years old. But is that true? You see, there are serious problems with that age claimed by evolutionists. One of the problems with that is the supernovas. What we see here on the screen is the Crab Nebula. Now this was witnessed by Chinese astronomers when this star exploded. And we know exactly when it exploded. And this is what it looks like today. It's rather beautiful. I think you'll admit God does do good work even in an explosion. Um, but the problem is that there are too few of these dead stars for the universe to be billions and billions of years old. You see, there's too few supernovas. Again, these are exploded dead stars. Now, we have never seen a star being born, never. In spite of claims by evolutionists that these are stars being born, the truth of the matter is we haven't been around long enough to tell whether these are stars being born or whether they're simply stars that exist. But we have witnessed stars dying, and they explode and they create these supernovas. Now, we can actually measure that occurring in our galaxy and in galaxies nearby. We've been able to do this. They occur at about one star exploding and dying every 25 years per galaxy on average. So every 25 years in a galaxy on average, a star dies, explodes, and leaves this nebula that is clearly visible. Now, evolutionists claim that the Milky Way galaxy, now that's our home, that's the galaxy we live in, is 10 billion years old and contains at this time a count of one trillion stars. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a larger than average galaxy containing one trillion stars. And we've never seen a star born, but we have seen stars die. Now think with me. We can only find at this time approximately 250 dead stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Since they die on average about one per 25 years, this indicates that the age of our galaxy is less than 7,000 years old and consistent with the biblical account of 6,000. If evolutionists were telling the truth, we should in fact have 400,000 dead stars in our galaxy, but we don't. We only have 250. Now even if we missed a few, I think you would have to agree that looking at these numbers, our galaxy is young. The Milky Way galaxy is young, and therefore the other galaxies are young as well, and evolutionists are incorrect when they claim that they are billions and billions of years old. This proves that you really can trust the Bible about the age of the Earth and the universe, that God created the sun, the moon, all the stars, galaxies, um, as recorded in the book of Genesis. You really can trust the Bible about the age of the Earth.